Today we are fortunate to have Susan Deinhoven with us. Susan, uh, you are the president and CEO of Sanoma. Sanoma is a, one of the leading European learning and media companies operating in 11 countries. Before we kick off, let me just extend huge congratulations to you because this is a um, wonderful achievement. You are the well-deserved winner of this year's Transformation Leader of the Year uh, Award. You know, since you started about five years ago, Sanoma has changed considerably. You have successfully led Sanoma through difficulties. Um, you have substantially strengthened Sanoma's balance sheet by focusing the company, divesting several parts, getting focus back to where Sanoma can win. So this has been a transformation for a real better uh, business, but it's also been a transformation that has has shown in the bottom line and, and also in the value creation of the company. From your experience, what would you say are the key elements of a successful transformation? From my perspective, it always starts with a solid fact base. So any transformation needing to know what the strengths of the company are and what the consumer or the customer demand is. It's of course a team effort. So it is getting the team together and rallying the team to set ourselves then the goal to, to transform the company. And, and that is with everyone involved, because if you look at this transformation now at, at Sonoma and the other ones before, it's always a combination of, of the board, um, the, the management, the full management team, and then the whole organization on, uh, that, that needs to see the path and, and believe that that path is, is doable. Um, yes, it's making a plan based on that fact base, but then also being agile and following, you know, where the opportunities are at a certain moment. How do you set the transformation agenda? And what did you think about Sanoma when, when you did that? It is that scenario building that I am typically a bit more a fan of than setting a very rigid agenda and then just sort of forcing that agenda through. How do you identify and address issues that typically companies face in execution? I think if you set yourself with, uh, um, you know, as, as a company with a, with a clear goal and then do a lot of communication uh, within the team to sort of make sure that everyone understands where it needs to go, then some people are better at, at coming with that path than, than others. But generally speaking, you then see the whole of the team moving in that direction. Is there something that you do to engage and motivate uh, you know, people to really embrace and be part of that transformation journey? I think this is an award to Sonoma as a team, because this is, it's impossible to do these things uh, by yourself, you know, and that's that's not just a generalism, but it is it's it's truly the case that it only works by propelling, let's say, that effort and that those goals into a larger team, and then as a team you can uh, accomplish such a transformation. Thank you, Susan. Many important lessons there, and truly impressive transformation leadership. Thank you again for your time. Thanks for the honor.